Thousands of people line the procession route trying to pay their respects to Officer Townsend and his family. Even complete strangers taking time out of their day to remember the fallen officer, father and husband. Team 12's Adam Bagney spoke with some of them about the emotional experience. Well, guys, the tears were flowing all along the route that brought Officer Townsend to the church this morning and ultimately his final resting place. I'm in awe. It is uh, trying to hold back my, my emotions. How do you say goodbye to a hero? Hundreds tried to do just that on a long processional route that served as a final salute to Officer Clayton Townsend. To see this all these lights just for, for one person, but for a whole family. This is their family member. And so I feel for I feel for that family right there. The procession lasted nearly two hours, weaving its way from side streets to highways. And everywhere it went, people stood along the side of the road, many feeling like it was their responsibility. It's heartwarming to see all these people out here, but it's a sad situation. Very, very sad. Out of respect, I'm here. The crowd that watched the casket was diverse, men and women, young and old. Those who braved the elements said they just wanted to honor a real life hero. We had to stop the day and lose a life and all that. It's really sad. Parts of the procession did cause heavy delays, including on a portion of the northbound Loop 101. But few seemed to mind, preferring instead to just stand in silence. A moment of peace and solace in honor of a family and a man who deserves the same. It's a touching moment. It's awesome. It's awesome to see the, 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 the men and women that uh, support these, these officers that are doing their best each day. And cameras were not allowed at the actual events themselves today at the family's request. In the Alert Center, Adam Bagney, 12 News. Okay, Adam, thank you.